hey guys welcome back to my channel today i am sharing some simple upside link with you guys i wanted to create some texture in my home uh for for autumn and i'm using all these beautiful vases to do it with and i wanted to show you guys the different techniques that i used to create these textures on these gorgeous gorgeous vases so the first one is this beautiful vase that i have owned forever and ever it's had so many different colors and it's currently white and i wanted to use a baking powder and acrylic paint to paint it to kind of give you like a cement effect kind of thing and i have seen this done so many times so i'm really just copying to be honest and i literally just mix about a tablespoon of baking powder with a tub of the paint that you saw me use and then i just covered the whole vase with it once i was done i used my brush without any paint in it and i went back and i was dragging the paint back and forth and that's how you really get the texture into the paint um you will see me do it kind of right now yes like that so just drag it back and forth and that's what gives you the texture and this is what it looks like i absolutely love how this vase turned out i've had it for so long but it honestly looks like a brand new vase right now i absolutely love it I also did the same thing with the white vase that you can see here that I picked up from the charity shop. It was two pounds, I believe. Love the shape of this and I love it on my console. I'm not adding anything in it. It's just going to stay empty like that and it looks absolutely beautiful next to the black. For my second project is this white vase, white bowl that I picked up from the charity shop as well. I think it's a bowl to eat out of or something to make like to prep food, I guess. And I went over it with the same baking powder and paint texture, same in white. Um, and I wanted it to have a little bit more something. So I'm using another color of paint. This one I think is called Storm Cloud. And I just mixed it the same way. And I went over it, but not really covering the whole bowl again. Just leaving a little bit of, you know, so that the white can peek through. So this is what it looks like. I absolutely, I am in love with this bowl. Love, love, love it. It makes such a statement piece in my conservatory right now. I so much love this bowl. For the last one is this vase that I picked up from the charity shop. I love the shape of it, but I don't like the print that is all over it. I don't like that imprint at all. So to cover it up, I'm using some uh, polyfiller, which in America I think is called Joint Compound. And I'm just covering the whole vase with it and creating my own design, my own texture, however I want it to. And I'm using gloves, cover your hands when you're doing this, please. And, and I covered the whole vase with it and then just smooth it out, let it dry. Once it was dry, this is what it looked like. And I wanted to kind of sand it down because it was too rough. So I just used a really fine uh, sandpaper and just went for it. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. after it was sanded i just went over it with some paint in this this is a bit where you can get as creative as you want you can paint it all black use mud to cover it with it and it would really age it and make it look really beautiful oh i could try that actually um or you could do what i'm doing which i really wanted to keep it light so i'm adding some white and then just adding some darker colors in it just to age it a little bit but in a much more lighter tone and this is what it looks like i absolutely love it i filled it up with some greenery that i picked up from home sense love 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 the way this one also turned out Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you stopping by. I hope you have found this very helpful and you are able to create some of this. If you are, please share your photos with me on Instagram at my life underscore in style and i would love to see what you guys create and i will see you in the next one hit the notification button if you haven't yet bye guys <laughs>